After years of construction, the $60 million renovation at Dallas's Roosevelt High School is done. Two years ago, students were displaced due to construction, and last year, students came back to campus, but the job still wasn't finished. Now Dallas ISD is ready to show it off to the community. It's the first day of school Roosevelt High in Dallas has been waiting for. What a great opening of a first day here at Roosevelt High School. The special ceremony on Saturday celebrated the completion of a $60 million renovation to Roosevelt High School, fostering the future of Oak Cliff students. The school was shut down two years ago due to construction. This past school year, it was partially under construction, but students were allowed on campus. If this isn't another reflection of community work, I don't know what is. This has been a long time coming. I am very proud of what has been done at this school. Roosevelt alumni members were able to take in the new campus with their own eyes. We just want to say hello from the hello. class of 78. Woohoo! <laughs> One at the time they could only wish for. I travel around the schools all over the you know, Metroplex, and now my home school looks like one of those schools. One of the additions, a practice gym named in honor of Ira Terrell, one of Roosevelt's all-time great basketball players and SMU Hall of Famer. Terrell's signature is even imprinted above the door and painted on the wall the names of all the players on the 1972 state championship team. Some teammates were also in attendance. Roosevelt was one of the first schools in the 2015 bond, and we went through a lot of designs and redesigns, and so it, it started off at the front of the line and kind of got off track, and this is a, a, a real example of persistence and determination and it was well worth it. The 70,000 square foot plus renovation project includes a fine arts addition, a new cafeteria, outdoor athletic facilities, a new library, and career technical education opportunities. Back in 2015, 14, we were looking at, they were looking at closing Roosevelt. We heard the rumors of closing Roosevelt due to low student enrollment. Tony Johnson says she's proud she and the community never gave up on Roosevelt High. We led the charge, we made the fight, DISD listened, and now is the result of what we got seven years later. And as they say, Mustangs for life.